everybody. So today I wanted to uh, show you the Motec M130 and the uh, MR2 and give you a quick rundown on traction control. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get the Motec in the car from the old AEM V1 that I had was this car makes well over 400 horsepower. This car actually makes 513 wheel horsepower now and uh, short wheelbase, small tires because it doesn't really fit a very wide tire under this chassis. And so you get a wheel spin, and uh, you know, wheel spin on a very small car can be kind of scary. So I thought it'd be nice to have traction control for what I wanted, and so we've integrated it in with the Motec M130. It's also got drive-by-wire, so it can do some cool things with drive-by-wire. One thing it can have cruise control, so I've got my cruise control working again. The other thing that I think is kind of cool is I have throttle mapping, so that I can do. Uh, different modes on how responsive my pedal is and I'll show that to you via the screen here with the throttle position. And then the third thing it allows to do is rolling anti-lag uh, which I don't currently have set up uh, but I'll get there and we'll get that set up uh, in the future. So let's go and talk about traction control first. Um, so I have two switches here. This one I use to operate my boost control and then this one over here is used for traction control and the throttle mapping. I have them kind of mixed together. So uh, I have seven positions on traction control, everything from what I consider snow or winter, which this car will never use, but basically it doesn't allow any slip, uh, and it won't accelerate that quickly in second gear or third gear even because of how, of how much, uh, uh, how little it's allowing for, for slip. And then it goes all the way up to what I consider race, which is basically about a 15% slip angle, so it's got a pretty good amount of wheel spin, so you drive it. You still have to drive it, but you don't, it's not fully unloaded, like no traction control at all. And then I've got my off, my traction control off, and then I have another setting which isn't quite set up, which is off with anti-lag for basically like a verbal tune. So let's show um, what a, like this is a rain setting, so it's going to have a very low slip angle, so you can hear traction control kick in relatively quick. So if I roll in in on second gear,
I can still vary the slip angles uh, based on the settings that 